Video 2. Who is involved with mortgage servicing? This video about the various roles in the mortgage servicing business is the second of three in our series on the fundamentals of mortgage servicing, a product of the Urban Institute's Mortgage Servicing Collaborative. For an overview of the servicing industry, watch video one. What is mortgage servicing? Mortgage servicers work with four types of loans. There are GSE loans that are backed by the government-sponsored enterprises, or GSEs, namely Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, which are the most common types of loans today. Another type of loan is what we call government loans. These loans are insured by the Federal Housing Administration, the Department of Veterans Affairs, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. There are also loans that private lenders keep on their balance sheets called portfolio loans, and loans that are purchased by private investors as securities, which are called private label securities or PLS loans. PLS loans are a very tiny portion of the market today, though they were a much more significant portion before the housing crisis and portfolio loans resemble GSE loans in credit quality. So, for the purposes of this video series, we are going to focus on government and GSE loans as they constitute the bulk of today's mortgage loans. In addition to the homeowner and the servicer, the mortgage servicing industry has five other key actors, lenders, insurers, guarantors, investors, and regulators. Each of these five parties makes critical decisions that determine how a loan is serviced. First, there is the lender. After the loan is closed, the lender decides who services the mortgage. Some lenders will service their own loans. Others will sell servicing rights to another party. Homeowners do not get to select who services their mortgage after they close the loan, nor do they have a say if the loan is transferred and the loan servicer changes for any reason. Loan transfers may cause confusion and delays in recording homeowners' payments. Next, there are the federal insurers and guarantors. Often the most important set of players are the federal insurers and the guarantors. Insurers and guarantors differ slightly, but their general role is the same, to offer protection that the ultimate owners of the loans, also called the investors, will be paid, even if a homeowner does not make the monthly mortgage payment. Two federal agencies, the Federal Housing Administration and the Department of Veterans Affairs, insure nearly one-fourth or 24% of new mortgages. Two government-sponsored enterprises, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, guarantee nearly half, 46%. A third federal agency, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, also insures a small portion. Additionally, six private mortgage insurers provide coverage on some loans guaranteed by Fannie and Freddie to help reduce GSE losses. Then, there is the investor. The investor is the person or entity that owns the loan. Sometimes the investor is the original lender who keeps the loan on its balance sheet. Most of the time, however, the investor owns a mortgage-backed security, which is a bundle of loans that have been packaged and sold as an investment product. These securities are then guaranteed by the GSEs or by Ginnie Mae, who securitizes government loans insured by the FHA, USDA, and VA. Whether or not a loan is put in a mortgage-backed security matters because once the mortgages are bundled together in a security, they almost follow the servicing guidelines for that security. These guidelines may limit the servicer's flexibility to offer certain types of assistance to homeowners. Finally, there are the regulators. State and federal regulators oversee different aspects of the mortgage finance system to ensure that the servicers comply with consumer protection laws and regulations, and to ensure that the market players are financially stable. Several state and federal regulators play oversight roles in the mortgage market. Some watch out for consumer interests. Others oversee specific financial institutions, insurers, or guarantors. The investors, the insurers, the guarantors, and the regulators all make rules for how servicers work with homeowners. The servicers are then responsible for understanding and following all these rules and for helping homeowners when they run into trouble paying their mortgages. To learn more about the essential role that mortgage servicers play in the housing market, please watch the other videos in the series, What is Mortgage Servicing? and Default Servicing.